we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Big. Check, check, check. It's just a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my dear. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. When I mean all, I mean all. I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101. We'll pop up first in line, I guarantee you. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you'll see all our visuals. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that notification bell so you don't don't miss out on none of this fire content that we give into you every single day. But if you want to see that exclusive content, because we do hide some of this exclusive content, you got to sign up for our membership. How you find our membership link is under each and every video, including this one in the description section. There's a link that says join our membership. Click that link and it takes you through all the process so you can see all the exclusive video first in line. Because y'all see us on the, on the street all the time and be talking about, man, y'all doing good work. Y'all keep it up. How can we support the brand? We love what y'all doing. This is how you can support a brand by our membership. Thank you in advance. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, man, we got a guy here today, man. We down here in H-Town, Houston, Texas. Stand up. We are here, man. It's going down, man. But the only reason we came was for the reggae sound, the music. It's going down, man. The culture, man. Jamaica's in the building, man. Cha-ching, ching. It's in the building. What's going on? Cha-ching, ching, ching. Man, that's a crazy name. You hear that? I love it. <laughs> That's the best intro ever. You sound like a freight train. Bam! <laughs> I'm the chainsaw man. Man. Love it. Let's talk about on the it, man. Stock. Man, Blessings. I got to start off with this first. Where you get that name, Cha-Ching Ching? The energy is on another Ching level. Cha-Ching Ching Ching created from just being me, myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in my community. So I used to go around like... Who get the name? The party. No, may I tell you how me get the name? Are the fans near me? Is the fans name it yeah. Ching Ching? The, the fans, the people that love me, we put me at the top right now, you know, the music industry, mm. the fans, them, yeah, them name me Ching Ching. Because Ching Ching was just a slogan. It was just something I walk around and I said, I got diamonds and pearl for you. Ching Ching. Mm. I get it. So for, by me saying Ching Ching Ching, my name was All Star at the time. All okay. Star Dancers. I used to have a group I go around and dance with. Mm -hmm. So I get some grills and just start saying ching 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 I got diamonds say ching and from there the people them just love it and them catch on to it and them just start calling me ching 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 and all the way me I tell them say you are all star me them say no you don't need all star my fans them literally <laughs> bad me up grab me jake me up you don't need all star ching 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 and name and I say all right my name ching 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 and then that, 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 that sound that you make in the beginning because you do it all the time now where did that come from well when you build a house, mm -hmm. so when you build a mansion, like you build a house, with every building, you're going to need a beautiful finish. So with me saying, ching ching but you know so I need something else for you, like pull it out. So I just say, ching 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 And we just create it out of nowhere, because I am always creating. Mm -hmm. You know, I always keep my feeds refreshing. Yes, yeah. I see. I love it. So, yeah. okay. So you were born and raised in what part of Jamaica? Well, all right. You have a place named, my, my, my family is from Kingston. So we used to, I don't know if you know Crossroad. No yeah. Crossroad. Yeah, man. Crossroad, right in front of Pegasus Hotel. So What, ho what, what hospital are you born at? First right, of Mubana, all. Mubana, Mubana, Jubilee? No, Mubana. KPH. Anata Bay Hospital. Anata Bay. Okay. Okay. Because my okay. mother was from St. Mary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a father. From Kingston. From Kingston. So mm -hmm. my father got sent me here to do some work. Mm -hmm. And do some other work. Meet my mother in, a, in our community and do some other work. Mm -hmm. And I saw me born. You understand? Okay. So when me born, I'm not be hospital now. My father, my, my, my mother come at home and my father was come live with me. So, so your father and mother was never together? Together? N no, they never together before the whole thing. Um, they was just... But linking after you, them linking come together? Other, linking each other. So when me born, them come together. No? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because my mother lived in St. Mary, my father lived in Kingston. So with my father going back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Back so back they back. still so had a relationship. Yes, they still okay. have a relationship. Sometimes my mother come to Kingston to come here. Okay. So when she get pregnant to me, you know, she have the baby and that'll be, and then she come to Kingston. How old were you whenever 
she came to Kingston and moved in with him. Well, but just born. Oh, so as soon as she born, she come down. And and okay. them time, and, and when we born, them time there. My mother and my father break up when she come to Kingston. Really? I'm never see my mother again. Huh? So them time they So had, she left you with him? Yeah, at three months old. So we never see her again. Are you the first to this child? Day? Till this day. No. Yeah. So You're the first child? Yeah, two. She have more child with two After two. you. Yeah. So you the me first. Me and my brother, two are we. Yeah, but you the So oldest. my brother born before me. Oh, so he older. So my brother born at King's, Kingston. So where was the so did he did she yeah, drop so off both of them? We get the story clear and it could be twisted right this so okay. you don't remember. But my brother born mm -hmm. before me. My brother okay. one year older than me. So my okay. brother born at Kingston. Same father? Same father. Okay. And then yeah. So she born. dropped both of them off to him or is just Yeah, yeah, two away. Two in three months old. My brother was older than me, my like mm -hmm. about one. So him we maybe remember remember how she look. Okay. Yeah. You never go try to find her? Well, we grow up through the struggles and we build ourselves to be who we be today. And, and I like to say we never try. If, and I like to say we wouldn't try if we find her. But I'm so steadily and trying to put my life together right now. The realest way. Or oh, a human being is supposed to put their life together. And, and the part of the journey going forward, at some point, I know I'm going to see her. But for right now, when I got to step out, I'm just going to say, I'm going to look fair. You Did you ever have any sort of resentment growing up not having your mother around? Yeah, man. Whole heap of time, man. All of my bridging them, I'm going to have their mother. Mm. So sometimes, I'm oh, there around them. Yeah, I remember at one point, I'm at church. Mm -hmm. I'm about um, 10, 9, 10. I'm at church. And my good friend was at church. I'm a good friend met me start going to church because fee mother, I'm, I'm father and the whole household are church people. So them go to church. So that is how me start get for go over fee mother now. And fee mother say me have to go to church too. Right. So me start go to church. I remember one time we did a church and the church get cold. Because we know them home on the church in the one river. And him sit down beside me and him get up and go sit down with his mother and the mother hug him up. And you felt some sort of yeah, way. Yeah, I feel a way. They said, ten years, the first time that I miss my mother. You know? Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, man. But how did that form you as a man growing up? But before, yeah. Yeah. How so did that form you? It's a whole heap of temptation, but we hold it. Because we could have been a whole heap of things. Bad man got mad. Yeah, we grew up with a whole heap of bad man, too. But you decided not to do that. A whole heap of temptation, but we see the outcome of them something there. We decided to so not take the road there. But you had your father in your life to help. Yeah, me and my father, my father in my life, eighty percent because he always on farm work. Oh, okay. So he leave with people. Mm. So he will leave with the family. That's why I have so much family, extended family. I mean, like not like blood family, but I have people out there where I have also them growing away. If like if I go growing up, if, if my father leave me with that person here. So my father leave me with Miss Joyce. Miss Joyce have all six pitney. So Miss Joyce pitney them be, it, become it, your it, siblings. It's, all right, so. You know? But he showed you the meaning of hard work because he's going out working every yeah. single day on the and farm. Yeah, so when he used to go up on farm work, my stepmother, I have to big up to one stepmother where I can't say, yeah. She named Patricia, big up to mm -hmm. Patricia, she passed off now. Wow. So she did have a daughter. Rest in peace. Yeah, so me and my brother, and Pat used to take care of me and my brother. That before we start stay with multiple people. Because mm -hmm. she and my father, they end up on break up. But Pat used to take care of me and my brother. And fear daughter as one. So we used to live as one, right. you know. And she never treated you differently. No, she never treated me differently. And she also uh, uh, she teach you for wash and, and wash your own clothes and mm -hmm. she iron her clothes if teach her for iron and them something, you know. Mm -hmm. And then she and my father, you know, differences fall out and then we start stealing a bag of people places you now and you know. This was in crossroads still? No, no, I actually, I come from school. When we live across the road, I come from school and see my How house. How old were you? Them time, they were about nine. Mm -hmm. Because at nine year old, I moved from Crossroad to Stone Hill. Okay, so. So I come from school, come see my house, bulldozer down. How? Like the government at Jamaica, bulldozer down, the whole community said. 
Because he, your father didn't own that land. No, it's that a ten, it's a tenement. Tenement. Oh. It's a tenement place. Explain so it's not my to father. people. All the people live over there. Explain to people who anyway. watching who don't know what tenement yard is. Tenement yard is a yard where a lot of people live in. A. So you have one big gathering, fence round area where I bought 20 house night with whole heap of different, different family. So that's a tenement yard in the middle of New Kingston. And as a juvenile, I will never understand. But since me get big, my final so the people in the, the tenement yard, them, they get notice to the land mm. for everybody to move out. Were they paying rent or not like that? No, people just live there. Just live there. Okay. And like, the community was in the middle of New, New, New Kingston, right? There's a Pegasus Hotel there, so. Mm -hmm. They so, want to build hotels. So, so they bulldoze it. So they try to build up they, Dorchester. They, they, that's what they build up. Gentrification type. Yeah. Yeah, they build up a hotel over there now named Dorchester Hotel. But they gave you all warnings. Yeah, well, me, since me older. become an older person, you know, me get for understand so would he get warning? But nobody they really heed to those warnings to leave. Yeah. How I mean, did you feel when you came and seen your stuff just gone like this? I couldn't believe when I been in the corner and see my whole community flat and chucked and bulldoze over there. And then my, my father was there waiting on us in a truck with, with all goods. So that's how we reach up in Stony Lira. Okay. Yeah. Well, the good thing your father had got your stuff out yeah, there. Yeah, man. My father, I'm everything, you know. Mm. Wow. Best friends? Yeah. What? Father, I'm everything, man. Is he proud of you for, for all your accomplishments? Yeah, man. I'm proud of him, man. I'm well proud of him, man. I'm, 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 trust me, man. That's why I'm out here work hard. I come home and buy him a big, big house. You see me? Yeah. Is yeah. he still working? Yeah. Well, me, me, me tell him, he no want to stop work. Mm, it's he, hard. He not have to work, but he no want to stop. He say, he, he can't sit down, because what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. That's how yeah. sometimes people pass. No, no, I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I know no. him up in him years, so when he ma move a data, and him not do much. He, he, and when he ma work, he ma work there for about thirty years. So the people them love him. What yeah. does he do now? Them have him have uh, them have him as, I, I, my father, I, my father, one of the man them who grow less fortunate. So he bounce around and there everywhere, you know. So when me was a little youth, my father used to be a supervisor. Used to, not a supervisor. Used to bake in a bakery. Which bakery? A bakery in Golden Spring Square. Okay. Yeah. So when we get the history of my father, so that's how we live, go back in Golden Spring. Golden Spring. So when we go up there, you know, the whole place know my father from the, from when he used to work in at the bakery. Mm -hmm. So that's so how we grew up with a little name in the community. Because people, you have certain respectable people who know my father, so they look out for we see me. So my father, my father, the landscaping and gardening mm -hmm. for about three three house. We had in response for the landscaping and the garden and keep the flowers mm -hmm, and everything. Mm -hmm. In response to them place. And the people them take care of him well. Like he miss them family. Wow. That is how long he might work with the host them. When you okay, I'm a I'm I definitely know that to be a, a kid and grow up yeah. through the struggle, if you had opportunity to go back and change anything, what would you change? I wanna change nothing. That's why I'm not put all my best interest to go find my mother. Wow. I just know so I can find her when I find her. But for right now, I love her, I grow. Wow. I because in our society like today, in our society where we live in today, you have to just grow your kid the right way. You see me? I want mean the right way. Or you look on the right way, it's not always the right way, you know? Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you, you have kids now? Yeah, three boys. three boys. Do you overcompensate for because your mother left you? Do you tend to cling to them even harder because of that? Yeah. I cling to them very hard. You, know? you see what I'm saying? Because of what yeah, happened to you? Yeah, I cling to them very hard. Because sometimes I can't lose track of knowing that I have to do my duty and know that I have to do it for them. I know that I have to, I have to keep up with them. Because I know when me go through, you know? Keep and them out of trouble. And I don't want them reaching out the the, the hands of the, the wrong predator, you know, the, the, in the hands of a predator. Because sometimes you have your son, if you have a boy pitney as a man, and you know, a year pitney, just know, say, you farm your own destruction if you don't look about that youth, or if you don't lock in with that youth, you, have, you farm your own destruction. I agree. I agree. Because if you don't care about that youth, he might have fallen in the hands of a wrong man. And you know I to reach him. Look upon this man. For instance, this Jamaican where 
met the, the news a couple of years ago when they named Mohammed the mm. kid mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the young kid mm-hmm. where the sniper get mm-hmm. and train and yeah. have kill that mm-hmm. was crazy that could be me because I grew up in the hands of enough predator dangerous people so you, you I remember that happening yeah, but me but me but me choose when me know best you know yeah yeah, yeah. I want to talk to you about just. The, I want to get into the music a little bit, man. Yeah. You, you, your energy is on a whole mm-hmm. nother level when you come out. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I just I seen you come out twice. The way yeah. you your energy is, it brings so much. It vibes the whole room, man. When did you know you first could do that? No, you yeah, know, it, 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 oh my girl, it forced me to do to be this happy person. Yeah, yeah. because if we not do this, I'm gonna be somebody else. That's real. Yeah. Even I do this, make be somebody else. And to be somebody else is very easy. Yeah, it is. Isn't but it? what you're doing is so, not easy. So, it takes a lot of mind control. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest with you, and, and, and I'm not playing. Without you at this show, this is a different show. Yeah, that, I watched the show. Yeah, I love the show. Not saying it wouldn't happen, but the level of the energy in the room is different when you hit that stage. That is my duty. Have everybody dancing. So it's, he's just so, gonna get the crowd into so it. So I am doing my duty. So this is why Sean have me on the team. This is why I signed to Sean label. This is why Sean Paul signed me. He not signed me because he more me for just come sit down around him. He signed me because he know who me is and he want me to be who me is and do what I have to do. He put me on a mission, so I have to do it. How did you meet Sean? Oh, me meet Sean, me meet Sean to him brother, Jason. Mm-hmm. Man, shout out to Jason. Because back in the days, as a street youth, I go around and I do my thing. Because I started out you know, by rolling out a red carpet and doing like catchy phrase, like going around and say ching ching and roll out a red carpet in the park, like an actual red carpet that you walk on. You walk around with that? I walk around a red carpet. The carpet weigh 120 pounds and, and me weigh 110 pounds. No. So I'm going to walk with the carpet. Where you get that idea it from? All right, me get that idea from. All right, now. Going in the street. There are a lot of dancers, mm-hmm. so I have to be different. Mm-hmm. I'm not the best dancer, but I can do a thing. Put phrases together, put music together. Music is re- was really the mission. Mm-hmm. So I'm not gonna say I'm the best dancer, but I have good dance moves that I created or post the world, you know. So what's that called? We up make, like we up and stay up, rock the world, breadfruit, watch your wire, all those dance moves. I help. Create. Create them and coordinate this, everything that I have to do with them, you know? Yeah, so. Being in the street, moving around, I go to a studio named Coppershot Studio. Mm-hmm. So, Coppershot Studio, that's where, where G, I meet Jason. Jason. Yeah. I go into the studio by Cotty. Okay. DJ Kenny is the first person came around there. DJ Kenny is the first person who play a jingle for Chi Ching Ching and a mixtape. And... ZJ Ice is the first person who play a jingle for Chi Ching Ching on a radio station and Zip 103. So when I go to Copper Shot Studio, now, that is how I get to meet Jason. So I always run there chilling with Jason every day. Jason and Cutty. I always run there chilling every day. And get my little, do, do my little jingles them. Get my little funds them and thing. That's when I start getting my little change them, you know? In a music. I see some music nice. I get my little change them for do my little jingles and my thing them. So me, I do my thing, I do my thing. And then, we just hang with Jason every day till Jason say, yo, more you, more you put some of them thought in our song, you know. And that is how me and Jason create a song. What me I say? Yo, the beast pitch by me, I left the rich by me. Make a couple of my friends, them want switch by me. Police stop me, I spring, I will snitch by me. Make me good baby, mother ton, witch by me. And be a thing, me a chat tonight, mm-hmm. you see me? Yeah, so from them time, the way I try to do it. And then me have another song of me, I say, oh, the first song I ever recorded was a song named, oh, have a lock on the thing, chiching, chiching, ching, keep the girl smiling, chiching, chiching, ching, big diamond in a ring, chiching, chiching, ching, ladies, I got a diamond for you, chiching, what the dance all thing, chiching, chiching, ching, keep the girl, you see me? Cool. Yeah. yeah, and then <laughs> from this, you know, then we have another song that we go viral with now, 
a song with a, with a, a popular entertainer named Bling Me. Dog. He created mm. a song with him Zip It Up and, yeah. and those dance moves. So I a song with Bling Dog where I say, Ching Ching Ching, make the champagne pop. Pop, 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 pop. Ching Ching Ching, make the popcorn pop. Pop, 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 pop. Every day we make the champagne pop. Pop, 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 pop. Boss talk, make the champagne pop. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, and that song go viral in Jamaica and across the world, you know. So that is how people start know about Chi Ching Ching now. And I start creating catchy phrases like, Yo, cut. Yo, me not bother. Chi Ching Ching Ching. Walk you walk, the walk and him talk the talk. But from Chi Ching Ching boss until now, me I make talk. I'm like an opposition leader. So me elect talk. You have a calculator boss talk. Let's check talk. I mean make talk and then I take talk. And I wreck talk. And if I don't like how Chi Ching Ching talk. And if I don't like how boss talk. Then boss talk me the inch of tick talk ching you know <laughs> <laughs> so we just create a, so I've been creating phrases yeah, and I'm making my way up in the wow. business in Jamaica so one day we were sitting at Copper Shot Studio and Sean Paul pulled up mm. and I say yo that is Sean Paul Sean Paul the hell and the man pull up regular and I'm all sitting beside me and me and my reason like I've been him for ten years mm. he just sitting talk and, to and him brother sit down and just talk to me normal. Wow. Sean Paul, now the peak of his career. He just come talk and to And just sit down and talk to me. I made us a youth in the streets. I do my little jingles and thing. That's love. And then, JC and brother come outside and see me and the man. And I say, yo, Sean, I chi ching ching this, you know. The new youth in the street, I do him thing. I do, do talk and thing. And Sean, I say, yeah, man. What did you say? Yeah, did you sing something for him? At that point, Sean let me put an intro. I was there. Like me, I say, yo, everything get cut. Bad man get cut. Woman worker get cut. Iniquity worker get cut. Anything rise get charged. Get anything rise get against Sean Paul get cut. Yo, Sean Paul, me a cut. Yo, me not a bother. I'm bebel right now. You know what bebel mean? mean I'm sharp. You know what sharp mean? It mean I'm a razor. You know what razor mean? It mean Sean Paul is a good cut. It's not a loot cut. Don't talk lay about dirty rock or wear a chew cut. And me a talk beating. And the man I say, yo, me need a fit intro my album. So Sean Paul have an album right now out named Imperial Blaze. Mm -hmm. okay. Where if you listen to it right now, Chi Ching Ching is on the intro. Wow. You bring it in there. He bring me right in. How did you feel about that? What? All right. It did kind of bigger than me because I never know where I get myself in. <laughs> I me never know the music to that extent at the time because I was just a street kid in the street doing jingles right. and doing my thing. I never know about music. I was a record in 45 at that time, at that point. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I was just in the street doing jingles and stuff before me even had my first song. That's hard. So the, 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 you have a label, I forgot what them name. At them, they called me and try vice me. This is the first song. Um, Danger Zone, I think them name. Okay. At them, try vice me the first song on them. Oh, have a lock on the thing, ching, 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 ching. So from there, the ching, 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 it'll work. But me down in the street, I have a slang name. I take the microphone because I go around in the parties and I take the microphone from the DJ and we're like, DJ, chi ching ching ching, chi ching ching, make the champagne pop. And Bling Dog was in the party and Bling Dog said, yo, I got an idea for that. And we link up with Dan Carleone. Dan Carleone is a big producer from Jamaica, same way. He's an international big producer. So Dan Carleone, you know, I went to Dan Carleone's studio, do this thing with Bling Dog. That song go viral. Then my um, danger, danger producer, them link me you now. And I said, yo, that song should, yo, we oh, have voice that song right there. I never understand nothing about all of these things. So, you know, them time they may have grown a music scene, me. I do my thing as a youth. So, right, this, you know, Sean Paul, me intro Sean Paul album, and then me get me, me intro mixtape again. Tamahawk, so man, Yeah. So, I know Sean Paul for years. So, this what go on, what go on right now is a natural energy. Wow. And I like, him just see me get big on, you know? Yeah. You know me? He's seen you, he's seen the yeah. way. What did he say? Did you come out automatically like that when you came out to, you know, uh, uh, open or, or do, you know, Yeah, once me a profile, once you had a Chi Ching Ching concert, that is the vibe you're going to get. Wow. Energy is on another level, I yeah. told you. Yeah, that's the vibe you're going to get. Wow. So how did you do the um, the Caribbean remix to turn down for what? How that work? All right, the Caribbean remix, all that come about now, this is from before we signed with Sean Paulie. Oh, you have this mm. guy. You have this guy named Silent Addy from Miami. 
he come to Jamaica, he saw him in the street, tell his dad, say, yo, that guy going to be a superstar. He and knew. He knew, and he just started working with me. He never signed me or anything, but he just started pointing me the way. Like, have me doing remixes and shit, taking me to places. When I get my visa, I have me in Miami. I tell him I want to keep a birthday party in Miami. We throw a big birthday party in Miami and put Sean Paul and Sean Paul willingly came. Before, wow. he, before he signed me. Before he wow. signed you? Yeah. So, when I work in the silent, I don't know, I hear the turn down for what beat playing on the radio. Turn, turn down, down for, for what? what? Turn, turn. So, me call the silent and I say, yo, the turn down for what beat? I love that beat. More want to put a remix on it. Get that beat for me. So, silent, I get the beat. Come to Jamaica. We went to, to, um, Oaklands, this is an com- a, a apartment complex where all the people live in Jamaica. So mm-hmm. we went to Oakland, Link, uh, this producer guy named Gachapan from Japan, but he live in Jamaica. Okay. And I vice the remix in a closet. Yeah, <laughs> and a little microphone in a closet. I will vice it. Then we go to our free tree and shot a little video, viral video for it in Skateland, our free tree. That's a little viral video. Man. And put it out on Twitter. How did it first? I put it on Twitter and then put it on It went crazy. crazy. So when I put it on Twitter, it was, yeah, Jamaica like the vibe and everything. But one Sunday, me there, me yard, I was sleeping and then when I look on my Twitter and when I look, Licker John. Whoa. Yo, send me that. Him say, him say, send me this. I'm fucking with it. So I don't know if it pop up in the hashtag and him see it. I don't know how him see it, because he's not, he not follow me on Twitter. But him see it, and him says, him say, yo, this go hard. I'm fucking with it. Send me this. So. That blew your mind. I never know it was real. So, my link silent, I send him a screenshot and say, yo, Lico John this. Him say, yo, that's Lico John. Bro, tell him to send his email right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we get him email. We send him, the, send him the vocals. We get his number, everything. Then he linked me and said, yo, I need a verse from Assassin. So Assassin is a dancehall artist in Jamaica. Yeah. Wow. So that's how I link Assassin. I said, Assassin, yo, Lico John say he need a verse from, from you and this. So I send the beat to Assassin. Assassin did his verse. Get it to Lico John. And Lico John have a good relationship with Conscience mm-hmm. from a longer time. Mm-hmm. So he get a verse on Conscience. That's another Jamaican artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Conscience is another Jamaican artist. So that's how I get the official remix. So in 2018, 19, when I did the first tour with Sean Paul, when I was on tour with Sean Paul, um, I said to him that, yo, remember, um, I, I got a song that, the right song to, sh- to mash up the tour. And then I said, yo, who sang that to me? I said, yo, a song named Turn On Forward. Remember, I'm the, I'm the one who get the official Caribbean remix for that song. And I said, yes, I forgot. So right away, he put it in the set. Mm. Wow. What did you change about the song? What did you... What did you I don't know. Maybe no. the vibe and the energy of just the Jamaican. Yeah. 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 So and give us a little bit of, of, of the way how so you the did song that. was the whole world know me a fire. Everybody knows I'm a roll like four truck tire. Party I keep on them now nah, make no fly about album I sell and them now nah, get no buyer. Them now nah, get no bookings and them now nah, get no hire. Better some boy go retire. Boss like a frequent flyer, we a fire, we a fire. Better some boy go retire, boss sack. She ching ching I cover the world, cover the world. I'm like a diamonds I govern them girl, govern them girl, like Mac, me I cover them girl, cover Take off your clothes, yes, the man's a girl. Right now, me too hot to angle, too hot to hold. Anything me touch, me turn that to gold. If you don't name Ching, you look warm to cold. Ching! Me now fi buy out the bar for them play my song like the chain on me, the castle them wear my slang. Fly go Texas, and me hear my song, boss talk, them a tell me me a real icon. Ching, 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 I cover the world, cover the world. I'm a diamonds, I govern your girl, govern you. Like, ma, me, I cover. Ching! The whole world, you see me? They're fine, they wow. so. Yeah, man. With that yeah, beat, imagine yeah, that, that with that beat. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, I'm telling you, everything he touch, he turn up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Because he it? did some with my favorite artists. Because growing up, you know, in my age, it was a beanie bounty thing. Is either you with beanie or you with bounty. And yeah. I was never a bounty person. I was with beanie all the way. Cause you know, beanie is the girls them sugar. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Well, but when you did that, yeah. Well, way up. You see the way up track. When I'm going on to that history, because I'm all about history, I also did sign with Sean Paul label. At that time? No, not Sean Paul label. 
I, silent at when when I finish with silent Addy, mm-hmm. it's like me and silent Addy with did the always have a dream for tour with Sean Paul mm. when I was with silent Addy. Okay, so you already knew that. Yeah. So silent Addy was was always pointing me in that, that direction. direction because him always see it say. Ching, that direction is you. You're different from what I go on in Jamaica and everything. Mm. He said, don't try for add up and be nobody. He said, be yourself and, and just do be Ching because Ching is where the people, Ching is the vibe, Ching is the energy and that is what moved the world. He said, I'm saying, always, to the one at the time, me and him reason about Sean Paul and we are passed through the airport and we woke up on Sean Paul. Wow. And Sean Paul in take a picture. manifestation. Sean Paul take a picture with me and Silent Daddy and him and post it on him Instagram. Wow. Mm. In the airport. Wow. Same time. So Sean was always rooting for me. He wants to see you win. He wants to see me win at all time. But tell me about the beanie so, thing. With the beanie now. Let me tell <laughs> about the beanie now. Moving with Silent Daddy now. I stay there in Jamaica one day. I link up with Popcorn. Mm-hmm. Popcorn. And my vibe is like the same energy. Wow. When we say we mean the same energy, the same joviality, the same. We just connect with the youth there. So me and him just have a have a have a have a have a, have a, a natural vibe, energy a rolling in a par. Him come at the studio, him see me, me and him start par. You see me? He might go and show him start calling me. This is before me even link up with Sean Paul. Right. With Sean Paul. Me are silent at the move. So Popcorn, me and him a move and everything. Till him start inviting me to come concert with him. Like anywhere I go, him, him a call me and me a go there and me a shell the show them with him. So, we remember him a do one Sunfest. I forgot the year and him say, yo, chiching ching more for father Sunfest with me. So, I go to Sunfest with him. I wow. go to Sunfest with him. That's where I meet him mother and him whole family. I go up on the stage, mash up the stage, everything. Him said to me, say, yo, you know, say, yeah, you're unruly in a youth. You see me? I say, anything you say in a boss. You see me? Because we did it. And me and him have a whole energy and a whole movement. Any walk of the place, I mash up the people. I love it. The vibe nice. It and move. You see me? It just a work natural. So me, I say, yo, me now find no vibe. We work with the vibe here. Yeah. And Popcorn is a genuine person. Real person. Mm-hmm. If you get to know him. But it's hard if you know him because I ever have him shield up. Okay. But... He have a heart. Yeah, yeah, but he seals it. He don't yeah. want you to see. Yeah. So, I stay so now, me and him have a little dance off one night. Clash. That is our part. Ah. So, we just park up somewhere, music I play, me and him start clash. So, I stay so and do a dance and bust a dance and the place mash up. Then him go say, yo, all right, watch me I kill him now. Watch your dance now. They dance in him. We up. We up. And by the time he goes to the next hand, stay up. The whole place mash up. <laughs> and I said to him, say, yo. Yo, me a girl rode in a dancer. I must say, ching, me a dancer. Do you have a dancer, man? And I saw me just take it and put my little groove to it and mm-hmm. fix it up and go way up. So me and my partner now, one, one day went up at the apartment. And me and my partner now, no, him brother linked me. Okay. Him brother linked me like two days after. And I said, yo. This is after we have places where I mash up everywhere, everywhere, everywhere at Jamaica I mash up. So the people must see me and him together now. So the, the band they create now. So him brother see me and I say, yo, popcorn for my label. I'm going to sign it to the label. Him brother name, them only. But them call him Squiddy. And you sign with them? I'm assigned to the label. I'm assigned for three years with Unruly Entertainment. Mm-hmm. And the three years I'm signing that really entertainment, it gave me a base in the dance hall scene. What I mean a base? That is where breadfruit, rock the world, mm-hmm. way up. Wow. Get there. When you hear me a blaze a trail them time there, I sign with unruly entertainment. Popcorn label. So popcorn do a major exactly. swing for me in the industry. Wow. That's a blessing. So going on popcorn, I learn a whole heap of craft, a whole heap of stage presence too. 
a lot of pan this pan. To the shell long place. But me always have my style already, my cre- catchy phrase. Because I tell him, I always have mm-hmm. create phrases and up. So I go around him, I don't have my jovial style already, and him done jovial already. So with the jovial list, the mechanic, it does a, it's just a work, natural. And it does a work, the whole place love it. So after me and him do the dance, you know, we say so now, me and him drive one day, Chim the record, Jordan, a big producer in Jamaica, send me the beat, happy hour, say this is a new beat I'm going to put out. So I say, all right. So, me did done a pre beanie man song, World Dance. Mm-hmm. I want new you dance, dance baby, fine, fine again. again. May I say, yo, to me, that are the most authentic dancing song, different from Bojo's, Bo, 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 different song. from Bojo mm-hmm. Bogle. The beanie song there. Let me, me a juvenile, me sing the song the right through every day. Me too. So, me see so now I say, hey, back to basic. Me create back to basic back in a dance hall. Me take off this. <laughs> <laughs> and me create back to basic, different from Bogle. Because me, a Bogle my idol in a dancing, not other dancer. Bogle is what me follow. Because that was the best, bo- the best dancer back then. Yes. And I feel move them still currently running back the exactly. whole industry right now. Wow. So me always a follow Bogle trend even up to now in the millennium where I move ever I say Bogle and I move with Bogle. That's why me come back and say, I want new dance around the street again. Everybody just go and go tell your friend. We up. So me don't have the intention to remix back some Bogle thing already, but me they have started from the art of the dancing because mm. being man and Bogle do that. That dancing, I've been mm-hmm. a man and more create a dance hall already in a dance hall back in the days where different from Cape Town, them got all fruits, right? Different from Buju, them different from Bling Dog, them. The Bini and the Bogle thing more staple. Mm-hmm. You see mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. So, I'm being a man of the jovial dancing thing that bought him. So, you see me? Any youth that I take on to the vibe there, mm-hmm. where I do dancing and them thing there. You see me? So that is where me go so now and say, all right, baby. So when me go to this, when me and Popcorn go at 007 Studio and Super Hype was engineering, Popcorn go there for do some dub plate. So Popcorn do the dub them, and then me go into the studio for go vice the song. So when me ask say, Super, we ready for vice the song. Super, I say, yeah, man, ready. So when we go into the studio now, and me say, I want new dance around the street again. Everybody just go and go tell your friend. We up at the name and the title. Don't buy the deaf to dumb, the blind and the crippled. And I don't know how the street just love it. So everybody know. We up, up, still. Popcorn coming at this forward. Popcorn forward nice student and said, This bad, this it. Give me the homage. Man said, Show sure, being the homage. So that's why in the verse I hear me say, Me see being here and wait from night time to day up. Papi said, shut some of bank books, stay up. Mm-hmm. You got to give him homage. And then when the song done, I say, yo, me need somebody to intro the song. And then Papi I say, oh, I'm to you, I'm a G. Me I intro this. And then everybody I say, be the man, jump on the song. No, I'm going to look for being the man and make, put him, him on the song. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm going to look for him and put him on the song. What did he say when you went to him and tell him about him the song? He said, oh, I'm teaching. You sing over my song, you know. That means I'm a great. That him said to me. So I'm going to link it for the remix. He never itch. That's good. Wow. That's good. Same like time. That. And then the song get even more bigger. Mm-hmm. But the original. They redone that song. Mm-hmm. and made it go even bigger. Yeah, but the original, they done bad. And I got, but the original, that take a time for Blaze the trailer. Even though the original come out and I mash up Jamaica. But I'm going to be the man. He go international fast. Yeah, because he's international. Yeah. You see me? So, from this, so now, we go we up, then we go rock the road, no, no, we go we up, then we go breadfruit, then we go get there, then we go, yeah, we go get there, and then we go, um, watch where I will it pass up, we go, and start chill on the whole place. Yeah, because your latest one, um, the rope. Yeah, rope. Mm-hmm, that then one doing crazy. Yeah, the one they're doing crazy. So. Let me ask you a question. So, yeah. if you had to, out of all, because I've always wanted to know, because I know my answer to this. Yeah. Who would you say is the best dressed um, reggae artist in Jamaica? The best dressed reggae artist? Mm. Everybody had to do them thing, you know. Mona Singlo, no reggae artist. I said them just the best. You wouldn't? Me wouldn't do that. Because right now, the man them are go hard. Really? All the reggae artists them are go hard. Wow. Yeah. 
But me as a regular artist, I'm a friend them. I mean, I'm going to pick up for them and send them my best dress. Because my best dress are chicken. You see me? But the rest of them, I go hard. Oh, I have to pick up to my brother, Samurai. Wow. You know, me and him have the song, Life is uh -huh. Amazing. Uh -huh. You see me? Because I mean, the Rasta culture, I follow that deep. Are I you a Rasta? That, me a Rasta in my heart. In heart. Me and I have the locks. But I follow Rasta culture but you don't have to have the locks for the big Rasta. All right. I'm par with Rasta because Rasta is where I find my peace. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I, I, Being around Rasta is where I find my peace. Mm -hmm. I find a whole different aura about life. You see me? Their thought yeah. process is totally different. Them thought process is totally different. And I like my business about Rasta business and what Rasta and Rasta have. But when me as a youth will respect Rasta movement and go around my Rasta brother them, like man like Samurai, man like Jesse Raya, you see me? Proto J same way. My Rasta brother them, holy for them. You see me? Me get a different vibe. Even bugle the same way. How they run bugle them is a whole different aura. You know? Mm -hmm. So, Rasta bring peace. Where you see, where do you, you see this career taking you? Well, I'm not going to say I see the career taking me somewhere right now, you know. But I'm going a mission to captivate mm -hmm. as much people to feel Ching vibe. So, as much people, when we can make feel ching energy and ching vibe, I got luck to it. So, sooner or later, I got have a movement, like a big movement moving with me, you know, mm -hmm. out here. Because the world, out here says not like me there at Jamaica. See, me there Texas now. We're up on the greatest story, Sean Paul, and we're Texas now. We'll, we'll shell down the whole place, come right up here. So. Mm -hmm. And we're building, we're building a community for ching the same way. So, Sean Paul gave me the fan base. They make them know who is Ching. And that's exactly what I'm doing out here, isn't it? You know, I read, you know, like when you're overseas and you live overseas, like I do, my connection is always, you know, everybody read the Observer. Yeah, you, you know, you have to hear the news and stuff like that. Yeah. I saw an article the other day saying how the birth rate in Jamaica is low. Like people not have kids no more, like how they used to. So, you know, it's going down. Why is that so? Well, I couldn't, I couldn't say anything about that people not having kids as much i could i could miss a baby born every damn day at jamaica so <laughs> every day mr baby born at jamaica like afrobeats you know afrobeats become a thing you now where everybody upon afrobeats yeah um because one thing i know about the entertainment industry first it was a guy thing now then the females that might run the place hot with the music yeah. and now it's afrobeats have you jumped on anything with the afrobeats yes i have quite songs i have a couple afrobeats songs that I do for myself mm -hmm. and, I, and I invite like artists on it like Stone Boy I have a song named No Weakness produced mm -hmm. by Teflon okay yeah which is an Afrobeat rhythm and I also have another song right now coming out um an Afro reggae beat come put the reggae in the Afro I, I think name um uh, more than just a vibe the song name mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and I have a couple more Afrobeat songs out there where I don't quite remember. I couldn't tell you off the bottom of my head right now, but I definitely know that I have an Afrobeat song with Stone Boy named No Weakness. Okay, I gotta look that up. I didn't hear it. Yeah, the video for it is on YouTube everywhere. Wow. And the song is on iTunes, Amazon, Apple Music. You can find it everywhere, Spotify everywhere. Mm. Yeah, so I'm trying to do more Afrobeat with more like Afro color. Yeah, because that's the, thing, artists, that's, the, you know? that's the hit thing right now. Yeah, yeah. Dancehall is the hit thing more than Afrobeat, man. This is another question that maybe I always... Us, maybe she does hear the, the Afrobeat more than, oh yeah, hear the dancehall now, but as you can see, the Sean Paul concert last night. Yeah, I did. That was Shiki dancehall. Not yes, one Afrobeat thing. Yes, yes, I so noticed that's that. that's show you say the dancehall is still there. It's gone nowhere, man. It's still there. But then, you see, for me, when I think about the Sean Paul... And Afrobeat is dancehall, see, man, because you don't know. It generated from the, the drums of dancehall, so... Yeah. You're right. So we're not going to bash Afrobeat. We're not going to bash dance. Yeah, we're, we're not, not bashing any, no genre none of them. music. I may mean, I do every music. Exactly. You get me? Because yeah. I feel like everybody's supposed to jump on what's hot but still stay true yeah, to their music own and music. culture. Yeah, music and music. Music is music. Create create music. Okay, next thing yeah. on, I want to know, because I always ask a lot of people up here this question, because I see it a lot here. And I want, and uh, asking a Jamaican person, because just to see how different maybe certain things are there compared to here. All right, when you in 
an industry, especially an entertainment industry, and you getting big, making money, you know, rising up, do you have to leave out of the community where you grow up in a to a certain upscale or uptown community? Or do you can you stay there and still be rich? Keeping it real. Cause some people feel like I can't stay where I come from because people gonna pull me down or too much people go bother me or too much you know, them type of things. What do you feel? Depends what on do you oh, yeah. see depends, in Jamaica? Depends on um, it's tricky. Okay. It's tricky. You see you see if it's a people's person in your community. Mm-hmm. You can't make it and stay there. What I mean a people person, like you love everybody and help everybody, you can't make it and stay there because you're not going to have none. Okay. You see, if it's a strict person, what I mean a strict person, like people know you and know what you're about and know so you have a help in the heart same way, but you have certain stand where you stand to. You can't live in your community the same way. Because you grow with a certain, with a certain, what me that say now? You grow with a certain f- f- mentality, a certain firmness in your mind where you grow with the youth, them with the way, them understanding, you understand them. Mm, mm. You understand? Because me still living in my community the same way. Me still live at Stone Hill. You understand? People mm-hmm. respect you. People respect me. Can you know, people see, people, you have, you have bad mind. The whole area, Golden Spring, Stone Hill, St. Angier, me still living in the same way. Even me growing at the ghetto the same way. Me not say me would have living at the ghetto. Maybe maybe I when me grow still, cause when me grow up in the Golden Street and Stone Hill era, the people them preach love up there. Yeah, cause even that's though, a nice area. Yeah, even though it's dangerous, but the pre the, the love is there. You see me? But depends on the community where you grow up to. Cause you have some com- communities very hostile, when nobody making a dollar sometimes. Sometimes you get taxed. So when too you much. have the money, do everybody are you are the big the pre? I have some people have left them coming to Toka because they want to play danship. Mm-hmm. So when they make it now, you are done now. You understand? Mm-hmm. Worse if you start buying a gun. Mm-hmm. The first gun you buy, you just know, say, it's it going to take you like a six months before you left the community. Wow. Because when you start buying a gun in the community, you're going to generate youth with venom. And that venom can turn point at any time. Wow, man, you you gotta you gotta tell me the um, the top, three. top yeah. three artists of all time, dead or alive, any genre. Your any top genre, three, yes. my top three, mm-hmm. dead or alive, dead or alive. Well, I we don't know if I not classify Bogle as an artist, but Mr. Waki, the dancer and the artist, the entertainer. We wouldn't concept, We weren't thinking about dancers. We were mainly just artists, music artists. Oh, like music. All right. Yeah. Lil Wayne is most definitely okay. That's your number one. On the hip hop scene, Lil Wayne, I mm-hmm. one of them. Okay, number two. When I go up on the Jamaica scene, now Bounty Killer, one of them. You <laughs> number see me? three. When I go up on the international scale, now Sean Paul. Wow. I Love like it. that. I like Love the top it. three, man. Man, yeah. thank you for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out? Or oh, they reach out to me? Mm-hmm. What's your social media handles? Well, me, me, me easy to find. Well, my name is kind of tricky for spell with people. So, <laughs> Go yeah, ahead. So it's C-H-I-C-H-I-N-G-C-H-I-N-G. So C-H-I-C-H-I-N-G-C-H-I-N-G. Che Ching Ching. Che Ching Ching. On all platforms. On all platforms. With a J A on the end. So if you find me on Instagram, you just put J A at the end. So the J A is for Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Che Ching Ching J A. I have my I have that Instagram page from the from I just started out and I never changed it. And I also get a blue tick on it. Awesome. And, and it's there right now. Che Ching Ching J A. So that's my Instagram name. I'm on Facebook, Che Ching Ching. I'm on TikTok. TikTok. C H Ching Ching. Oh, okay, so it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's a little bit different because my first TikTok page gets stolen. S- yeah, no, it's Hacks. actually get banned. They banned it because oh. I released. It's a, easy to get banned. I okay. released a song in the middle of the pandemic named Vaccine. <laughs> oh yes, that went crazy. Yeah, it has thirty-one million views right now. 
That went crazy. 31 million views on YouTube. And when I go to Jamaica, I, I, do, I did an next song named Booster Shop. Mm-hmm. That to went the crazy too. And that went 31 million views too. And then I post something on my page and <laughs> I get three strikes. <laughs> so I just building about my TikTok page right now. Nah, it's going to be easy for you. You ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I can promise you, man. But don't put none on there. You can't nothing. get that no more. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man, <laughs> man yeah, thank man. you so much for coming on the show, man. We love you, cha-ching-ching. Ching. Did we leave anything out? Yeah. What? May I have a big up to some artists. Let's okay, go. go ahead. It's Egyptian and Munga. Mm-hmm. They mean at, a lot at, to you. Yeah, at one point, I'm in you know, our crew with them, named GMC. The G is for Egyptian, the M is for Munga, and the C, the C is, is for Ching Ching. So that's GMC. Wow. So we create a movement. Everywhere we go, we lock the parties and we lock the show. GMC's on the road. Man. Everywhere we go. So we have a song named GMC. Egyptians sing that hook on the song. Wow. So me, Egyptian, and Munga, we par. At, at one point, when, when at the Copper Shot Studio days, I used to leave Copper Shot Studio and, and go to 007 Studio to do like dub plate and jingles. That is where I meet Popcorn. Mm. Yeah. So, from there, you know, Egyptian and Munga used to teach me melody. Like, teach me how to like control my voice because my voice was like too loud. So, Egyptian was always, yo, you know, if you be like a shouting in the microphone, you know? you know? He groomed you. Yeah, so, big up to Egyptian. We got to Munga and Herbal. Before I started putting the tracks together, Munga was like, yo, that bad, don't put that there, so put that there, so. So Munga was like, you know, teaching me how to put the, my lines in. Because I used to have a lot, a lot, of, lot of talks, like, I'm a creep words. So I, never, I just never know how to put them together. So that's where I firmly know how to put music together. No. Mm, that's your foundation. Yeah, the 007 studio with Munga and Egyptian, and then when we start part popcorn now, we start get the real feeling of the music now. But you remember where you come yeah, from. Yeah. And and all me get all me get for do a song with Sean Paul now, like Chiching Ching and Sean Paul on a record, is I went to this this party and I saw Sean Paul in the party. And I went I go to him and say, Yo Sean, a full time for me I have a song together now, you know. Me into the album, me into the mixtape. Let's do a song together. I must say, Yeah man, let's go, let's do it. I mean, and Jordan was there at the same time. I mean, I say, yo, it's Jordan here. Jordan's going to be the producer. So the next day, Jordan called me and said, Sean Paul is at the studio. They're ready. And then I go to the studio and we'll, we'll create a song named Crick Neck. I mean, Sean Paul do a song named Crick Neck. There's bubbling my champagne, bubbling my bath. Sean Paul, I, I sing about the girl and I say, the girl, I have take nest, take nest, take nest, take nest. And then me come in my verse, I said, this girl keep put, there's bubble in my champagne, bubble in my bath. This pretty girl put a bubble in my heart. You see me? And be a sitting. So that song is all on him, Crick Neck. With me wow. and Sean Paul, yeah. That's hard, man. And that is, that's the song that created by the bridge with me and Sean Paul together to start touring in 2018. And they've been up ever since. Yeah, he called my manager, Squiddle. That's Popcorn, Popcorn Brother. And I said, yo, I want Ching for come do two shows with me in Europe, you know, because the song Crick Neck, when I perform it, the people them love it. So I just want him to come, come do two shows with me. And then when he send the contract, the, when he send over the invite, the contract to Squirrel, <coughs> Squirrel called me and said, Yo, a 15 show you're going to do with Sean Paul now? I said, What? 15? 15. 15. And it's been going ever since. And it going ever since. Ever since. But it's, I'm and telling right you, the energy with, different. Right now, we're upon the greatest story doing 22 shows. I see, I 30, see. In 32 days. In 32 days. 22 shows in 32 days. Uh, how many have y'all done Paul so far outside of Texas? Sean, where where y'all been? Huh? Outside of Texas, where, where was you before? So, so we've been... Boston. Orlando. We've been... No, yeah, Orlando. Yeah. We've been Boston. Okay. We've been New York. New Orleans, Chicago, Atlanta. Then Dallas, Austin, and Houston. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, hey, man, yeah, man. this is dope, so man. So we just want, we just want the viewers, them, my view this right now. You see, 
You see the way you carry yourself, the energy where you bring, that is where you're going to attract. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, you must know what you want in a life because we can do anything you want. Do. If you want it, you got to believe it. You can do anything you want. Do. You can do anything you want. Do. Because we're all born. All right, the government knows that they can't do anything what they want. Do. Why think them fighting to be the top? Yeah, because they want to be on top for them. can say, yo, give me this, give me that, give me that. Yo, do that over this, do that. Anything, them do anything they want. Do. That's why even the, the man, them, even the, the scammers, them, them do anything what they want. Do. Because they finance the government, they do anything they want. Do. The man, them, the, even the, the criminals, them, they're doing anything what they want. Do. The bigger heads doing anything what they want. Do. So they're showing everybody so they can do anything what they want. Do. But I just you have to know say so you have the consequences for dealing with it. Deal with it. when you do where anything where you want to do, you have to deal with the consequences. That's right. right. Good or bad. But you have to always know say so you can do anything where you want to do. Anything you want to do. You can do anything where you want to do. But when you do anything where you want to do, just know say so you have to have the mindset the same way for deal with the outcome and the consequences. Wow, that's hey, listen, man, that's the ching ching, man. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this yeah, channel. Man. Make sure you guys get a hey, check out to ching ching in this next clip for sure. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk, and we out. Yes.